to today's fantastic workout. Today's workout is going to be a beginner workout and it's going to be no longer than 10 minutes. It's going to be a workout that's going to include just a few things you need. First thing is going to be a step or some, some, uh, some riser. You're going to need a set of dumbbells. Recommended is going to be a weight that's going to be appropriate for about 12 to 15 repetitions of, let's say, bicep curls. And the third component, which everybody has, is some body weight. So the good thing about exercising and, and li living the healthier lifestyle is the less body weight you have, the easier the workouts are going to be. So let's get right to it. Uh, I'm not going to recommend you watch this entire video and then do the workout. I want you to do it right with me and let's stay focused and let's do it together. So let's get warmed up first and follow, follow along with me here. All right. So we're going to start with some jumping jacks. You always want to get an appropriate warm-up, get the blood flowing, make sure you get the muscles loosened up. And we're going to go roughly 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Focus on your form, focus on your technique for today's workout. That's the key component. All right. Feels good, all loosened up. We're gonna start right into a lunge. It's gonna be a standing step lunge. Take a big step, all right? And you want it to come down, and we're gonna go right through here. You can put your hands on your hips. You can put your hands out in front of you, okay? Angles and degrees are, are important for this exercise. And you wanna stay 90 degrees in the front and 90 degrees in the back, okay? and engage all these muscles right through here, okay? Quadricep, hamstring, glutes, and lean back arm. So we're doing one side here, and good, all right? You're gonna grab your dumbbells, and remember, I said the appropriate weight for bicep curls, which is gonna be a lighter weight, because every exercise, right into a bent over row, is gonna be voluntarily engaged for each muscle group, okay? And it's a beginner workout. So they're gonna be simple exercises that you're gonna be able to perform and really get a good squeeze right in the back end here. All right, good. Nice. And good. Put those aside. And let's match up that other side here, right to the lunge. And coming down. Good. Make sure you breathe normally. <sighs> Lean it back on that back leg and keep moving. You know, this is gonna be a, a beginner workout, but we wanna make sure that we're accelerating how we're burning the calories as well. <sighs> and nice and slow, slow that tempo down. Great, grab those dumbbells again. And we're gonna go right to a press. Keep your knees slightly bent and come right through. Hit those anterior deltoids. Make sure your chest is up. You have a neutral spine. And again, you have soft knees. Make sure that you're driving right through those shoulders. Good. And through. And press and bring down slow. Good. And put those down. Bring your step over. In my case, and it's gonna be like an active rest. You're just gonna step up, step down. Step up, step down. You've already engaged some large muscles in your workout. So just give them a quick break while you keep your heart rate elevated. Just breathe normally. You know, go at your own pace. That's the important part. But at the same time, you gotta challenge yourself because you don't change without a challenge. And let's switch sides. Good. And step up. Drive right through the heel. Get it going. Drive right through the heel. Go about 30, 35 seconds. Good. Good, 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 good pump, good push. And nice, nice chance for those muscles to relax. All right, now we're gonna do some upper chest. Our upper body's in the chest. And right off the step, or the stool, or a chair, and just do a nice controlled movement engaging that, the pecs. Good. 
Good, good control. Keep that body straight. Nice. Keep those elbows tucked to your side. Don't flail them out. And keep everything tight. Keep, those, keep that core engaged. Good. Let's get one more good one here. And beautiful. All right. Shake out those arms. But you're not stopping moving. Let's go right into a squat. Feet shoulder distance apart. You're going to squat right down. Good. Keep those arms up for balance. Good drive. You may feel a little bit from those lunges. That's the idea, though. Good. Keep that chest up, keep a neutral spine. Get right into those glutes. Drive right through those heels. And you notice that you don't want to stop at any time through the movement. You're not stopping at the top, I'm not locking my knees out. All these little keys are gonna be critical to maximize that caloric expenditure. And drive right through the heels, tilt through even up a little bit. Beautiful. All right. Now you're gonna sit down. Sit under, under your butt and raise those hips. Good. And just hold that bottom up. Feet are about hip distance apart and just hold that. Squeeze those triceps. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. Slight bend. Get a little pulse. Just get a little bit there. Good for the beginners because you're probably breathing heavy and you're just getting a chance to get some of that upper arm, back of the arm, tricep activated. Good. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Yeah. Yep, this is what it's about right here. Living that healthier lifestyle. Good, squeeze it on the top. And awesome. Come on up. Grab those dumbbells. Remember I was talking about those bicep curls. Grab an appropriate weight. Here they are. And curl. Good. Start with them parallel to each other at the bottom. Curl right up to the top. Getting that peak of the bicep. Good. Good squeeze. Again, knees are slightly bent. The closer you keep your feet, the more balance is required. The more balance is required, the more stabilization you have. The more stabilizing muscle. Good, keep that chest up, shoulders back. Good pump, there it is. And one more big squeeze, big squeeze, big squeeze. Bring it down slow, good control. And done with the dumbbells. All right, sit back down. Everybody wants to get that washboard abs. Other than nutrition, we can still target some of the muscle in our knee. All right, so coming up here, and just gonna reach for one heel, and reach for the other. Keep your shoulder blades off the floor. Yeah, and squeeze the side of those abs. Get those obliques, really reach. Keep that chest up, keep that head up. Look right at the ceiling. Yep, doesn't take much. You don't need to do 500 reps of crunches. You just need a good couple of contracted muscle. Good, good, good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yep, one more on the side. And relax, awesome. Hey, there you have it. A few good minutes of a workout. You have time for it. Get it done. Fitness does not have a finish line. Everybody deserves to feel fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your day.